Desecration of a memorial, that's what officials say happened to a submarine and a naval museum in New Jersey. Cops now investigating the vandalizing of the USS Ling Naval Museum yesterday and today the sinking of that submarine. It's a high speed submarine from World War II that used to be the centerpiece of a naval museum. She sits off River Street in Hackensack, but earlier this week somebody broke in and flooded the boat, destroying all the artifacts inside. I was devastated. I couldn't even go to sleep last night. That's our history right there. It's stupidity. The vandals stole four heavy bronze plaques. All that stuff's destroyed now. Today was eviction day. It's going to stay in the river. All right, so very quickly, we are going to do another quick update video. And I swear, this is going to be the last update video on this particular subject for a little while. So as you guys know, I was arrested down in Florida. I spent four days in county jail down there. I was released. I went up to Hackensack, New Jersey to surrender myself for sinking a submarine. Okay, this is, this is what I'm suspected of doing, is sinking a submarine. I turned myself in. I got ROR, released on my own recognizance that day, as you guys saw in one of the last videos. And the other day, I had video court. Yeah. Video court, for those of you guys who don't know, that's what kind of court you have to go to now that COVID's out. So I had to do a Zoom conference to get arraigned and find out what my charges are. Now, my first charge, the biggest charge, is a conspiracy charge. I have a conspiracy charge on me for one reason or another. I don't know how they came to the conclusion that I would need a conspiracy charge, but that's what it is at this point. The second one, the second biggest one, is knowingly sinking a submarine. The third one is burglary. The fourth one, the last one, is criminal mischief. Now, like I said before, I don't understand how I could conspire to do anything, but to conspire to sink a submarine yeah. is, is, is actually pretty crazy. Um, I, I, would, I would never do that. Uh, I would... I would I, not, not even know how to do it. Yeah, I would, I, I would not know how to do it. I would not even know where to start on how to do something like that. But I just wanted to kind of give you guys, like I said, an update and kind of a backstory as to what's been going on here and what me and her have been finding out actually over the past couple weeks since yeah. I was arrested. So what had happened was there was an original article that came out on the submarine and I found out a lot of stuff from 2017 in an article that I'm gonna have Christy read for you very quickly. The problem is no one seems to know what to do with it or even how to move it, whether for restoration or scrap. The group of military veterans that runs the Naval Museum wants to restore the sub as an attraction but sees no help on the horizon. They have no money to even replace the gangplank on the Ling, the only remaining high-speed submarine from World War II. No one else seems to consider the Ling their responsibility, not the Navy, nor any governmental entity, and certainly not the Borg family. It's not on our property, it's in the river, and we don't own the river, said Malcolm A. Borg, former chairman of the record whose father, Donald G. Borg, helped obtain the sub when he was editor and publisher. Which pretty much left this submarine abandoned in 2017 inside of the Hackensack River. It left to do really nothing but pollute the river and, and, and kind of be an eyesore for people, even though it's not an eyesore to me or people like me or people yeah. that enjoy those submarines and stuff like that. It became an eyesore and a problem like I said, with pollution and stuff like that. It was obviously deteriorating inside of the river. It was neglected for a little while. It was unable to be moved. It moved, fixed, maintained, anything like that due to the fact that the gangplank was taken down in 2012 because of Superstorm Sandy. Another sticking point? In 2012, Hurricane Sandy demolished the pier, which held the gangplank to the ship, making it inaccessible to the public. The city does not own the property. The boat has to be maintained. We have to have power. We don't know how we're going to get electric. There are alarms on the boat. There are pumps on the boat to make sure you don't get uh, too much water in the bilges. The USS Ling has not been open to the public in nearly four years. And that's pretty much where that everything kind of breaks out off of that. The next article that comes up about this or a news story that comes up about this is when they found that the submarine was actually flooded and museum plaques were stolen from 
the the yeah. property where the museum actually is. Four bronze plaques to honor fallen naval seamen had also been stolen. This was to commemorate, you know, their memory and honor them. And somebody would steal these things is just beyond me. That's very disturbing. It's also disturbing that for no reason at all that they would flood the boat. The discovery came on moving day. Jack Brown, who had for decades been the keeper of this small naval museum in Hackensack, New Jersey, was complying with an eviction order to make way for a new development when he found the damage. Hackensack police called the incident disgraceful and said they hoped to prosecute whoever is responsible. That's terrible. It's, it's horrible. Memorial plaques, rather. I'm sorry. And, and, and the, there's $10,000 worth of bronze plaques that were, that were supposedly stolen, but then they were returned back to the Museum Association after they were found, supposedly found, on a, on a Museum Association member's property. I don't know how, why he had them. He said he, was, he had them for safekeeping. I don't know why he didn't tell the detectives or anybody else yeah. at the Museum Association. It really seems kind of weird to me that he would have them for safekeeping without telling anybody else that they were there for safekeeping. Right. The original article that was written about the plaques being missing, there was an update to that article, the second article that was written where it says that the plaques were returned. Now those two articles were written six weeks apart from each other at that point. So I, there was ample time for the him member of, yeah, of the museum them. association yeah. to, to get in touch with somebody or get in touch with somebody at, at, at the police precinct, the association, and tell them that he had them for safekeeping. So like I said, that seems a little bit weird to me. Now, charges were filed by the museum association director, Gil Delac. In a convolution of being uh, evicted from the property, very real possibility exists that if we cannot present the situation well to the Navy, they may come in and just say, we're going to eliminate this entire museum and, and memorial. Now, these are people that I have no doubt in my mind, they, they love the place. They definitely have love for the place. Whether or not they were able to maintain it is, is probably yeah. a, a huge undertaking that I, I don't think I don't, I don't think most of us would be able to do that. New owners of the property, though, have plans to redevelop the area and have served an eviction notice, creating a troubling challenge for the museum and the sub. Since the last lease expired in the 90s, the organization, the museum, and artifacts have stayed on the land through a month-to-month -month lease. But in a change all parties knew is coming down the pike, the land is being sold to a developer. Now, a new development project could put the vessel's future in jeopardy. The Submarine Memorial Association was given 30 days to vacate the premises with an out date of May 31st. We are already in discussions with the Navy, the city, and the association about their timely removal. We are hopeful that the items will be preserved properly for public benefit. It's a sad official end to a museum that has served the Hackensack community since the 70s and will now need to find a new home or call it quits. Now there are people there that are able to do it. They're restoring it right now as we speak. Hello everyone, giving you your weekly update. I know there was some concern with the high tide yesterday and the storm that she might flood a little bit. Nope, high and dry, not a... Extra drop of water on board, stem to stern. I checked the whole thing. They actually ran an unofficial investigation on this. Yeah. So they actually got control of the submarine at some point last year. They were able to figure out that one of the torpedo hatches was rotten and that when they pressure tested it, that's where the, the water was coming yeah. in from. They pressure tested it, as you guys saw in a video that I put out. It you was blowing air. You were throwing yeah. air come out of it and bubbling up. Yeah. Then they did another one where they ran the hose through it and you're actually seeing water pouring out of the torpedo hatch. There's a hole at the bottom right there, the three inch launcher. Three inch launcher shut. Well yeah, that's where your hole that's where your water's coming in and going out of. It's a rust hole. So that's what happened. They accused us or me of of sinking a submarine by opening up the hatches, conspiring to do all this stuff, and it was proven wrong already. So I don't know where they're going with that. Uh, there, there's been numerous reports, articles, things on YouTube, all over the place, 
claiming that this has been stuck in the mud for the better uh, it, it's almost a decade at this point yeah. it's probably more than a decade at this point that it's been stuck in the silt the mud the river is now filled with thick silt and only three feet deep at low tide it's been eroding in the mud of the hackensack river for decades i understand you can't move the sub it's stuck in the mud it's right the sub can't be moved it is stuck in the mud the bridge it can't turn the or or Supposedly the bridge that it was next to wasn't able to turn. That was apparently debunked a couple weeks ago when the bridge was turned. Yeah. So it's one of these bridges that rather than a, a draw bridge where boats would go underneath the middle of it, they actually go side to side. So it's one of those bridges that kind of turn yeah. and then there's two lanes that go and you can go in either lane to go past the bridge. So that's been debunked, that's able to be opened up. So at this point right now, there are people from another museum association in Kentucky that specializes in things like this, that ran the original investigation that I just told you about, that are cleaning it up and restoring it and are going to get it over to this other museum association in Kentucky. Now there's yeah. a fascinating story behind the, the submarine yeah, yeah. when it was in the war, when it was retired and put in the museum association's hands and there's going to be an even better story after it makes its triumphant return yeah. where it's going to go in Kentucky and and hopefully at that point I will get to see this thing completely restored I, w I want to do a lot of different things with with this video with this yeah. with this spot with this historic yeah place you know i i, I want to be able to do different things with it i want to compile all everything that i'm doing that's why i'm saying I, I i've been trying to just tiptoe through this a little bit i don't know exactly what i should be saying right now everything that you guys are learning is obviously public knowledge it's all stuff that is in articles it's on youtube yeah. it's it, it, it's out there for everybody to know that's how i'm learning about it i'm learning more about what's going on with this case and 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 what's happened to this submarine over the last week yeah. then I've been able to find out from my lawyers or from anybody that's yeah. wrapped up inside of the case it's all out there it's pretty much public knowledge and and, and there are a lot of people that, are, that have been saying what's happening with this submarine it's just stuck in the mud it's polluting the river yeah. it's doing all this stuff it's causing problems unless somebody comes up with something that we haven't heard already as to how you can move it from the river here to some other place it's going to stay in the river. Said the bottom is is really been eaten away by the water. Is this just an opportunity to do something that's going to happen anyway because nature is going to retake its course? Well, how long does it take Mother Nature to take apart a submarine by rust? Now, I, you know, nobody wanted to lay claim to this until there was somebody to hold responsibility. Yeah, they saw that it was actually damaged because they saw that there was water there and then they wanted to pin it on somebody or a few people or whatever. Yeah, so now that I, I figure that now that they have somebody to pin it on, now that they have somebody to find, now there's this drummed up interest in the submarine again and it's now a high profile case out there in Hackensack that they're pretty much not gonna let go of. But like I've said throughout this whole course of everything, I pretty much have the proof. I think this. I think a lot of the charges. I think all the charges that I just mentioned are are, are frivolous. I think they're silly. I think that I think the conspiracy charge is silly. I think they're all frivolous. Yeah. I think I, I I I didn't do any of this. I I I I would never do any of it. I would never even think about doing any yeah. of it. Nothing in mine or Christie's character, as far as what we've shown you guys on this channel, has said that we would ever do that. We yeah. said that it's wrong to do those kinds of things. We will continue to say that it's wrong to do those kinds of things because you shouldn't do that to anything. Right. I like stuff that's untouched. That's what blows my mind is when it's untouched, it looks like it's been sitting there for years and the integrity of it has been upheld. Yeah. I, that, 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 that's what I love about exploring places. And that's what you guys see. That's what you guys respect out of us. It's in the comments. You guys show us love like that regularly yeah. before yeah. all this ever happened. That's why most of you guys like watching the channel is because we do respect it. Um, so yeah, that, I mean, that's basically the update of the court appearance. Yeah, the next one that he has is not until August 24th or yeah. something like that. So it's like two and two and a half months away. Yeah, so, it's, it, so that, 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 that's the whole situation with the video court. Everything is kind of going really slow. And the simple fact of the matter is that they really have nothing to go on. So yeah. I, I think they're just kind of waiting for something to pop up or waiting for things to die out. I'm not exactly sure. Like I said, when I can update you guys, I will update you guys. I'm not going to continue to do a bunch of videos like this. Yeah. The next video that you see out of us, it will be us at an actual spot exploring, 
she will be in the video since you guys all like that you guys always ask where she is when i have these videos without her so yeah you guys are going to get something that you really like i really appreciate you guys following this story i yeah. really appreciate your kind words i appreciate you guys becoming patreons putting money in the paypal to help with the lawyers and yeah. stuff like that it really does help out you guys know we appreciate that stuff for any of the information that I've given out here, there will be links down in the description, along with our Twitter and Instagram. So go follow that to just keep up to date on yeah. everything that we're doing. You guys can go inform yourselves a little bit more with the articles and, and other news pieces that I put inside the description down there. And uh, yeah, definitely go check that out, read up on it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments because we love hearing from you. And we will definitely see you at the next spot. Yes. Peace. Peace.